Good dish. That's my kind of food. Hi guys, I'm Grace. Welcome back to my home kitchen where I'm showing you how to cook super speedy 15 minute meals, all Indian inspired. And today we're going to be cooking an aloo tikki bubble and squeak. So aloo tikki is like a traditional Indian street food snack made with peas and potatoes and usually they're little potato cakes but today we're going to mix things up and make a spin on a bubble and squeak. So first thing we're going to do, this is actually a trick I've only recently just learned, you can microwave potatoes and in like five minutes you've got cooked potatoes so we're in a bit of a rush today so obviously I'm going to microwave my potatoes um, so the first thing that you do is you just have to like jab a fork all over them so they don't explode in your microwave because you don't want that so we're going to put those on a high power for about five minutes and while the potatoes are cooking I'm just going to heat up some veg oil in a large frying pan. So about two tablespoons of oil. So when the oil's hot, I'm going to add a heaped teaspoon of cumin seeds. And the same again of mustard seeds. So I'll know those are ready because they're going to start popping and the cumin seeds are already turning a nice golden brown. So into that spice mix, I'm going to add half. This is a really large red onion, so I've got half. If you've got a smaller red onion, then I'd use a whole one. And I'm just going to slice it into half moons. So once the onion's in the pan, I'm going to add a nice generous pinch of salt, which is going to help draw the moisture out of these onions and get them cooking down nice and quickly. So the onions are cooking and I'm going to prepare the ginger and the garlic. So four cloves of garlic. You want a really nice strong garlic flavor in this dish because I always find potatoes and garlic go particularly well together. And we're going to go with about a thumb sized piece of ginger. So with the garlic, I'm just going to grate it straight into the pan. That helps release all of the delicious garlic flavours. And it's a nice quick way of doing it. And the same with the ginger. Just straight into the pan, no need to peel it. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> That'll be the potatoes. Ooh! So the garlic and the ginger's in with the onions and now I'm going to finely slice a green chilli. So this is going to add a nice bit of heat as well as that fresh green flavour that you get with a green chilli. Cool, so I'm just going to let those cook out and check on the potatoes which should be cooked by now. So just like magic, the potatoes are cooked in about five minutes. It is magic. And the bigger ones I'm just going to cut up into quarters and put back in the bowl. And then with a fork, I'm just going to mash these and really don't need to worry about the skins. I think they add so much more flavour. I'm also going to season these through now. So the potatoes are mashed. Don't worry about getting it too smooth. It's absolutely fine if there's a few lumps in there. And they're going to go straight into the pan with the onions. And now to that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric. A teaspoon of garam masala and a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And just make sure your spices are mixed evenly through the potatoes 
And at this point you can turn the heat right up because we're looking to get some colour on the potatoes. So when the spices all mix through the potatoes, I'm just going to get some frozen peas. <laughs> Again, you can't fill my freezer. So you want about a handful of frozen peas, a large handful. And then finally, I'm going to add some kale. So any of the big stalks with the kale, just run a knife through it to cut those up so that it cooks nice and quickly. So that's going to go straight into the pan. And then to help the kale cook down and to add a real lift to the whole dish, I'm just going to squeeze in half a lemon. So the kale's turned a beautiful shade of dark green and it's mixed fully into the potato. And I'm just going to taste it for seasoning. It may need a bit more salt. Just a sprinkling of salt. Potatoes love lots of salt, so don't hold back. So that's now ready. I'm going to take it off the heat. The final thing I'm going to add to it is some chopped coriander. So I just want a small bunch, roughly chopped. This is going to add a really nice herby freshness to the dish. So there we have it, 15 minute aloo tiki bubble and squeak. This dish is absolutely perfect to rustle up in the morning for breakfast. It's really delicious garlicky potatoes with spices and that fresh kick of kale and peas. Definitely recommend giving this one a try. Good dish, that's my kind of food.